hello everyone in this series of videos we are going to see the activities for the subject applied mathematics in the 041 maths we have some 29 math lab activities given in the lab manual of cbse same like that for the maths 241 that is applied mathematics the cbse has suggested the spreadsheet activities that means the excel activities in the student reference material also they have given some activities so those activities we are going to see in explained way because we need to record these things we need to maintain record notebooks how to maintain a record notebook and how to contain Uh, conduct, conduct the practical examination we will be seeing in this video for the first activity activity 1 i am going to start with this linear function same way how i have given the header graph of function on excel subheader linear function this write up part whatever the syntax we are using in this program and one example give these write up in the right side of your activity note in the left side just apply these write up in your excel or spreadsheet get the print out of the result and stick it in the left side okay this is maintaining the record notebook while conducting the excel examination or practical examination we will be giving this function alone in the question paper 7x draw the graph of 7x minus 1 we will be giving only this function in the question paper children will be forming the table and insert the graph in that and save this portion of the excel sheet in the desktop later we can evaluate and give practical marks this is the procedure so this right side write up part you write in the right side of the record notebook this left side part let the children work out get the result printed and stick it in the left side okay so we will start with this activity activity 1 draw the graph of linear function we know the linear function is power 1 function for example i have taken 7x minus 8 so first we need to input the value for x the value for x i have taken some negative value as well positive value i start with minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 0 2 4 6 8 how much ever value you want you can do now here f of x that means y y value equal to 7x minus 8 in the bar in the first cell click the first cell put equal to then 7 is the number given in the equation so 7 into the x value which we are going to input so for this number i i am in uh, giving the value minus 6 for x so 7 into Minus six. As it is negative, I have given bracket seven into minus six minus eight. So as per the formula, in place of six, I have applied minus six. Minus six is nothing but d. Uh, sorry, take the column c. In c, it is nine. So either you manually click c nine. Sorry, you manually type c nine. or click the particular cell in place of x the value will be displayed now click after 8 now the formula is over just put enter you are getting minus 50 the value minus 50 i repeat in this bar put equal to 7 is given in the equation write 7 7 into into i am going to multiply the value of x value of x is in the cell the first cell click that cell automatically the number of the cell will be displayed so 7x is over minus 8 the equation is completed click enter 
your value is displayed. Now select this value and drag till the last column. You will be getting different values for the different x inputs. Now the finding the value of y is over. For the given equation 7x minus 8, we have formed a table with the input value of x and output value of y. Now, select this table, go to insert, in that, go to charts. There are so many charts. See, you can see here in the icon, scatter plots, bar graph and line graphs. We know the uh, equation of a linear function is a straight line. So, click this line graph in that, in that, whichever line we want. We can select the line or you can go to this scatter plot scatter plot in that you will be having single line graphs that also we can select so this is our required line graph so you can as per your size you can make a note of it you can click snip however you can fix it in your sheet so children will be writing this right up in the right side of the record notebook and then make this table apply this in the excel sheet and will be sticking the graph over there they will take the printout of this graph they will take the printout of this graph and take it here So, equation also displayed here. Yeah, now it's fine. That's all for the first activity. You can see in continuous videos, we will be seeing the further activities. Thank you.